Today on CWN, UIL Academics will be having an academic meet this weekend. And BPA had a leadership conference last weekend. I'm Abby. And I'm William. And today is Thursday, January 26th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Emily interviewed Ms. Luby for the rundown on UIL Academics. Here's them for more. Good morning, Cats. My name's Emily, and today I'm here with Ms. Luby. So, Ms. Luby, can you tell us a little bit about the UIL Academic Meet this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. So all of our UIL teams will be competing. Um, I'm not actually sure which teams are competing. It's an invitational meet, so it's kind of a good practice and warm-up to the UIL season for all of us. That's really cool. Good luck to our UIL Academics this weekend. That's all from us. Now back to the studio. We have the trailer for a UIL film as well as some interviews with the crew. Let's check it out. Hey cats, I'm here with Paisley and Isaac. So they starred in the UIL film. So can y'all tell me y'all's experiences? Um, yeah, so I've had some acting experience before, but this was my first time doing a film. Um, it was really great. It was a really fun like learning experience um, and like getting in front of the camera. Um, I didn't have any experience acting or with film at all. And Velissa just kind of asked me to do this as a favor, and I decided to just give it a try and try something new. Hey, cats! I'm here with Velissa and Teresa. So, Velissa, you were the director of the UIL film. Can you tell me how that went? Um, it went really well. This was my first time ever making a film, and I had a really good experience actually being able to turn my writing into an actual production, and I'm really looking forward to everybody seeing it. Perfect. And Teresa, you were the cinematographer for the UIL film. Can you tell me how it went? Um, it went pretty well. This was my first time being cinematographer on a film, so I got to learn a lot about working with the camera, and also I had a really fun time working with everyone. That's great. And so what is the UIL film called, and when is it coming out? The UIL film is called Elevator Music, and it comes out this Friday for everybody to see. So. On Saturday, Aaron, Gabby, Anna, and Trinity will be going to solo and assembly competition. And last Saturday, BPA had a competition which gave members the opportunity to advance to state. Let's send it to Lexi and Mr. Rorick for more on how the students did. Hey Wildcats, I'm here with Mr. Warwick, and Mr. Warwick runs the BPA at Callan High School. They had a competition this past week, and Mr. Warwick, can you tell us where it took place and kind of what it consists of? Sure. Um, I'm the regional the advisor here, uh, along with Mr. Martinez and Ms. Cooley for Business Professionals of America. Cal Allen High School was host to uh, its third annual uh, regional leadership conference, which is it's kind of like UIL, UIL competition. Uh, we have different levels of competition and events uh, basically are geared towards the business world. But we have things like computer applications, word processing, presentation teams, uh, just a, a whole host of, of different uh, events and activities. Uh, this past Friday, uh, Cal Allen High School was host to 14 different schools here in the region that all participate in BPA. and. 
Uh, proud to say that 14 of our members advanced, will be advancing to the state level competition in Dallas in March. Uh, those who qualified to go to state or our state alternates receive these lovely plaques as commemoration of their hard work. So if you don't know anything about BPA, Business Professionals of America, feel free to ask, come talk to me. It's a wonderful program and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much, Mr. Warwick. Back to the studio. There is a dissection English project. Let's take it to Miss Robinson for more. Hey, Cal Island TV. I'm Jaden, and I'm here with Ms. Robertson, and tell us a little bit about y'all's project that, that y'all are doing in class. Okay, today we're doing a post-mortem protagonist project. So we're taking a character from one of our short stories, and then we're dissecting them. So we're talking about what they thought about in the story, where they traveled, how it affected them, and their emotions, pretty much. And what three stories did y'all read, if you don't mind telling me? Uh, to Build a Fire. We read uh, The Story of an Hour, and A Good Man is Hard to Find. Thank you. Now back to the studio. We have a new teacher. Felicity, Felicity caught up with Ms. Trueball for more on how she feels as a new teacher. Hi, I'm Felicity. I'm here with Ms. Turnbaugh. So Ms. Turnbaugh, where did you move to Clown? Um, I moved to the Corpus Christi area in October because my husband's in the military, so we just got here kind of in the middle of the school year. Are you liking Kill Island so far? Yeah, I love it. I really love the kids. They're really respectful and chill compared to the students I had in Florida, so they're really great. That's awesome. Thank you. Now back to the studio. Just a reminder, applications for a Spanish National Honor Society can be picked up in room 308. The deadline to turn in your application is tomorrow. Attention, 10th and 12th grade students. If you want to learn a little bit more about what career better suits you or are interested in joining the military, Sign up for the ASVAP that will be given on Thursday, February 16th in the CHS Library. The deadline to sign up in the dual credit program is Friday, February 10th, 2023, by noon. Space is limited in to the first 60 students that apply. Are you taking it? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Now here's Luke with the rundown on sports after this quick message. Good morning and welcome to Cal Allen High School. This is UIL. My name is Ms. Dietrich. I'm the UIL Academic Coordinator. We're starting our UIL season and we're more than welcome um, to join us. If you like particular math or science or any of the Englishes, Mr. James, social studies and current issues and events. And of course, all the great math teachers we have, we have a place for you. So if you'll notice around the school, there are posted events and sponsors and room numbers. So you can go to any of those uh, sponsors say hey I want to be part of the academic team we would love to have you if you think you want to do some competitive speech and oral interpretation you'll come see me in room 507 so it's UIL academic time we have our first meet on Saturday uh, wish them good luck and also a big shout out to Mr. Easton and the robotics club they have a serious competition on Saturday good luck to them thanks very much have a good day thank you Abby and good morning Wildcats Jenny Pickens has been nominated for Color Times Athlete of the Week. You can go to Color Times website to vote her. We have more information on Football Banquet. Uh, let's send it to Fernando with Coach Campbell for more. Good morning, Cal Allen. It's your boy Fern, a.k.a. Fernando, and I'm here with Coach Campbell, the head football coach. So, Coach, we have a football banquet coming up in a couple weeks. Can you tell me a little more about it? Like, what's it about? Uh, the banquet is February the 11th. It's going to be held uh, initially in the cafeteria where the uh, where everybody can eat and then they go into the auditorium but um, the banquet is to recognize all the high school football teams with the freshman JV and varsity and um, there's a highlight t uh, video that's uh, very entertaining and uh, it's uh, our the football booster club does a tremendous job of decorating and um, they, they really make it a, a nice event all right can you tell me what day is that going to be that is February the 11th. It is a Saturday night, and I believe it starts about 6 o'clock. All right, sir, thank you. That's all from me. Take it back to the studio. Good luck to our swimmers this week as they leave today for regionals and will be competing Friday and Saturday. And that's the latest on Carolina Sports. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. Now here's Jace with today's weather forecast after this message. Semester. All right, guys. I hope those of you that got to go see the movie last um, for the good attendance for last semester really enjoyed that. Want to give you just a heads up. 
as far as what you need to do for attendance purposes for this semester to make sure that you get the, the best incentives possible. All right, so for this semester, good attendance is going to get you a possibility of maybe not having to take some final exams, all right? So if you have passed all of your courses for the year, you have a 90 average, you can have up to six absences and then not have to take the final exam. If you have an 80, you can have up to five absences and not have to take the exam. If you have a 70, you can have up to four absences. So make sure that you're coming to school, you're taking care of business, you're getting good grades, and that way you can kind of breeze through the end of the semester. If you have any questions, of course, always ask your teachers. They should know which absences um, to count, and it's always to their discretion on if you can take that test or not. All right, thank you. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Jason. Let's take a look at today's weather forecast. But first, let's thank our sponsor, Chick-fil-A. So right now it is 50 degrees Fahrenheit with a 0% chance of rain and winds coming out of the northeast at 9 miles per hour. Going into the rest of today, it's going to be 56 degrees Fahrenheit at 12 o'clock with a 0% chance of rain across the board with uh, it warming up a little bit into 4 o'clock and going back down uh, to 51 degrees at 8 o'clock with winds steadily increasing and then decreasing to 5 miles per hour uh, out of the east at 8 o'clock. And going into our weekend for Friday, it's going to be 63 degrees Fahrenheit with a 8% chance of rain and winds coming out of the northeast at 10 miles per hour. For Saturday, it's going to be 72 degrees Fahrenheit with a 21% chance of rain and winds coming out of the south south at 19 miles per hour, so it'll be, it will be very windy on Saturday. And for Sunday, uh, expect a 43% chance of rain with it being 81 degrees Fahrenheit and winds coming out of the south at 10 miles per hour. That is all your weather. Uh, let's take it back to the main anchors. Thank you, Jace. And that's all your announcements for the day. And, but now it's time for your joke of the day. So, Abby, did you hear about how the oven got famous? No. It all broils down to hard work. Speak up. It, it all broils down to hard work. <laughs> for all you social people out there, make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Calvin TV for all the latest updates. Also, subscribe to us here on YouTube to catch all of our latest videos. And don't forget to catch us on Saturdays for our weekly review, 11 a.m. on KDF and 5 p.m. on The CW. And as, and as always, always, stay classy, Kyle.